Good evening. Hello, Thelma. Happy Friday. Hi, Melody. Hope everyone had a great day today. Let me know if you're here. Say hello. Hi, Bernice. We'll see how my technology works today. Hi, Rosemary. All right. I'm getting a little faster with the Facebook connectivity. Thank you for sharing, Bernice and Thelma. I appreciate that. Hi, Corinne. Thank you all so much for joining me. Ah, oh, hot in Memphis. Okay, Rosemary, how hot is it? I know we're pretty toasty up here, but uh, I think it's the humidity is making it feel hotter than it actually is. But, hi, Mom. All right, so if you are here, make sure you say hello. That way you will be entered into the drawing that I do every Friday for tell me that you share so if you tell me that you share the video then you're in for the comments and for the sharing so that's double the chances to win so we'll get back to our holiday mini catalog in just a minute I have winners to announce from last week Miss Thelma this card will be coming your way thank you for commenting on the video and then Rosemary this card will be coming your way so thank you for sharing I very much appreciate that. And, ooh, heat index of 115, Rosemary, my goodness. Wow, that is definitely hot. Okay, so it is Christmas in July. Hi, Patricia. And so each Friday during the month, we will be focusing on one of the suites in our brand new holiday mini catalog. This runs July through December. These went out in the mail Tuesday. I know some people have them in their hands already. Hi Ann, welcome. And if you did not get yours today, hopefully it'll come tomorrow, but I'm hoping everybody got theirs already because I think Thursday, Friday was the window they were supposed to be arriving. So we are focused this week on the sweetest Christmas set. So if you don't have a catalog in your hand to check out, you can always go to my website, which is thefaithfulstamper.stampinup.net. And if you want to place an order, the host code for the month in nice big letters is right here in case you want to take a screenshot. You can also find it in the comments on my page. I posted it earlier in the month. And that is for orders under $150. You can attach this host code to it. And then you go into a drawing for a special little prize that I give away every month. And this month's prize is Opal Rounds. So these are lovely. They're great accents for um, any kind of card. I've been using these a lot. So somebody is going to win this for placing an order with me in July. All right. So Sweetest Christmas was what I decided to focus on. I found out earlier this week this is actually one of the um, favorites of Sarah Douglas, our CEO at Stampin' Up! Her favorite list and my favorite list had a lot of items in common, I discovered. Rosemary, I'm glad you got your catalog. Great. So the Sweetest Christmas set is actually two bundles that are put together. And we'll talk about them in a minute. But if you order the whole suite, you get one of everything on the page. But you don't have to order everything on the page. You could just order one bundle or the other or the paper, any of the bits. So we do have the one-stop shop number which is here under sweet. If you want everything in the collection, just use this number and you can get that. Or you can buy everything piecemeal. We have the Christmas Banners stamp set, which is photopolymer. It's really great. It's got these wonderful banners that have matching die cuts. And then um, you can use them, you can use the words and get the words put in here. And I happen to think this would be great to use not just for Christmas. I don't see why you couldn't put a little happy birthday in there. Or I'm thinking happy retirement would probably look really great in this one. If you've got words that'll fit, use them in here. So the dies that go along with it, I'll just show really quick. Um, I did put mine on a magnet sheet because they were kind of running all over, but lots of cutouts for the banner and then accent pieces, a lot of foliage, some little holly branches and the berries that work there. So that is one of the bundles. And if you bundle them together, you save 10%, which is 
which is kind of nice. But if you prefer, you can just get the stamp set or just get the dies. This is the other bundle that's featured in the suite. It is Sweet Candy Canes. Has lots of nice wording along with our candy cane image. And I'm, I don't know if this is supposed to be mistletoe. Doesn't mistletoe have berries, I think? But I guess that can go along with your mistletoe kisses there. You could add some little pearls and make that mistletoe for sure. And then the candy canes dies coordinate there. And I really like this one because it has this label, which you're going to see in some of my samples. Two leaves, which if you're willing to die cut a bunch at a time, you can make a really pretty wreath with. I didn't go that far this time. But you'll see why later. But honest to goodness, this is probably my favorite die of the suite. Um, it's my favorite piece and you're going to see lots of samples with this on it and I'll show you some tips and tricks with that. So we will go ahead and get started. First of all, I wanted to show you, I started off very, very simply focusing on the designer series paper, the ribbon that we have that coordinates. This is beautiful ribbon. It ties awesome bows and it's a combo pack. You get two spools, one in real red and one in garden green, five yards on each spool. So very nice. And then of course the DSP and we have this label piece and I, I wanted to show it to you separately just because it's not just for Christmas cards. You can use it for other things. You could use it as a standalone. I'm going to show you some different ways on other samples that I use it. You could feed ribbon through it like I did here and then tuck it behind your card panel. And you can also use it, if you like, to slide across either candy canes or, in my case, since I don't happen to have any candy canes in July, pencils. So I just quickly stamped the tag and then added the candy cane die and a bow. And I've got a cute little decoration for a pencil. So this would be perfect for any time of year. I'm thinking I could stamp really easily on here for Halloween and add something. I thought about adding a gnome, obviously not to a Christmas pencil, but I wondered if the gnomes would look cute on here on appropriate pencils. That might be cute. And I was thinking also swizzle sticks could probably fit through there. It's a nice little size. So um, get creative. And if you make a project with it, I'd love to see what you come up with. So there's one last look at our quick and simple card. This was really cardstock DSP, one of our deckled rectangles, which is one of our new sets. And I can see myself getting a lot of use out of and uh, the label and ribbon and some of our festive pearls. So I kind of started off easy with just focusing on the designer series paper and of course the candy cane dies. So this is all stitched rectangles cut out of various pieces of the designer series paper. And then cutting the candy canes right out of one of the sheets of designer series paper. So I like this one so much I made two. And you can cut the candy canes out in each direction. So that's kind of nice. You're not tied into one. Um, if you want to crisscross them, which you'll see coming up, you actually um, can do that very simply. And you've got a variety of patterns with the paper as well. So quick and simple here. Then here is another one. This features our candy cane as well as one of the banners. And here is that beautiful piece that I cut from that large die, the one that I said was my favorite. And I have um, a quick tip for you. Don't do what I did first. If you want to use this, now here, I actually cut it directly out of the card front. But if you want to use a panel on the paper, you need to cut your panel first, like cut it down to five and a quarter by four. I was thinking in my head that it was going to cut the whole frame out, and it didn't. So this was what I ended up with for my first attempt at cutting that. And I thought, well, that's cute, but that wasn't really what I was going for. But you can really see the um, variety of uses you have here. It cuts out the um, wide strips and the small ones. Now the small ones, you can get a pile of, I don't know, fire starters. <laughs> I don't, I'm not saving these. These are cute, and I'm sure somebody would come up with something creative to do with them, but I'm not that ambition, ambitious. Um, the, uh, Bernice, it's a die cut for the candy canes. I did not have to fussy cut those. So it is part of the, the candy cane die set. So 
I'm not personally saving those small bits, but I am saving the wider strips. And I ran out of time today. I picked my kids up from camp this afternoon. So I think, do you remember a little while ago when I focused on that Sending Smiles bundle, I made the card with all the layered rectangle pieces? I'm thinking the same thing. I don't see why I couldn't take some of these and crisscross them across a card front and make up a cute panel. So I highly recommend saving these. They're also great to stamp sentiments on. So you might not want to save every single piece, but maybe some of these longer ones, I'm definitely saving these for sure because you could use them on cards very quickly and easily. And depending on how much you cut, you will have quite a pile going. So just remember my recommendation as I move my entire table is to cut five and a quarter by four and then cut your panel out unless you wanna cut directly into the card front, which I did here. So I cut directly, I, I laid my cardstock like this and ran it through my machine so it cut all the pieces out. Then I backed it with a piece of real red, five and a quarter by four. And then once that glue was set, I came back with the paper strips from this panel, those large ones that I saved, and I just put in a couple of the green pieces and glued them down. So you can see right off the bat here, you've got options. You can just cut it alone, you can glue the pieces in, and I'm gonna show you in a little bit even more things that you can do with it. So it's a lot of fun. I don't know if you can tell, I put Wink of Stella on my candy cane here. I thought it needed just a little something to add a little pizzazz. And then I added some of our gold sequins. These are probably my favorite embellishment, at least so far. I used these quite a bit last week on the um, Santa's Delivery, Santa's Express, whatever that one is called with the train that I focused on. Um, but I, I used a lot of them this week as well. So these are very um, handy to have and they come in gold, red and green and uh, like a frosted white. So lots of options there. Here is another card, largely focusing on the designer series paper. This might make an appearance in my stamp -a stack in October. I'm not sure, it's a little early for me to be thinking about all the designs for that, but I really like this one. I used our rectangle postage punch and added a die cut candy cane along with the double twine bow and some more of our festive pearls. Quick and simple. And I love it when we have these sets where you can put things together very simply. This one was just cardstock cut, different mats, different sizes, a piece of designer series paper. I added one of our deckled rectangles, which I stamped across the bottom, and then I die cut two of the candy canes and added a bow. So very quick, very simple. Um, I actually doubled up the bow. I, I don't think I've ever done this before, but I looped my ribbon into, I took a length of it and doubled it, and then I tied the bow. And I know sometimes like twine can be fussy, although that's one of my favorite things to do is tie the double twine bow. This ribbon is beautiful as a double bow, don't you think? And this was another one. I liked it so much that I did it in multiple colors. So here's mostly green, red and green, and then I had to go with the red too, right? And here, instead of red and white, I pulled out the pink from the designer series paper and added a pink layer instead of white. So lots of color combinations you have. We also have in our color pack, this candy cane here, where you've got some, I don't know if it's Flirty Flamingo or Blushing Bride. I went with Blushing Bride for this because Flirty Flamingo was a little too bright. But, and pool party. So you've got some non-traditional colors in there as well. So lots of fun, and these came together very quickly. So here is another one featuring our candy cane, and again, that beautiful slanted die. One of the sheets of designer series paper, and it's this one with the multicolored stripe, is actually meant to coordinate with the die. So I lined it up. Um, so that you can see the different colors. And you can move it around a little bit if you want, but um, this one is really meant to coordinate with the die. Here I added one of those strips that came out of the die cut. I just stamped right on it and then added it back on with dimensionals and added some of the extra die cuts in different colors to just pull everything together. But you don't have to go with that die cut 
Like I said, it's my favorite. You're going to see a lot of it. But here is a quick and simple one. I used that little background stamp or the little mistletoe-y like branch stamp for a background. Quick stamped on my banner and die cut it. And then I added vellum here with my little leaves and some more festive pearls. So you really have options and that's what I really like. I like being able to think outside the box with my sets and use them for lots of different things and in different ways. So here again is, this is a little bit different color. This is actually sweet sorbet. So it's a little pinker than um, the typical real red, which is here on the ribbon. Here I stamped my candy canes instead of die cutting them. And one thing I did with my large die cut here is I cut it in half. So I didn't use it full panel. I just trimmed the edges on each side where I knew I wanted my slant to be. And so you're going to see the other half of this panel on a card a little bit later. And then another thing that I did, I took this label piece here and I cut it out. I stamped my little candy cane wishes on it and then I cut it across the bottom and rounded the corner. So you can make a tag out of it. It doesn't have to be a nice big label. You can be creative with that as well. And then I added another one of those double bows. I'm so glad you guys are liking these cards. I had a lot of fun putting these together. Now if you want to get really fancy with that beautiful slant die cut, I don't know what you should call that die cut. I don't think they gave us a name for it. Um, they really didn't. It's just part of that candy canes die bundle. But um, I love it. Diagonal stripe, we'll call it. Here is a, a little bit more ornate. So for this one, what I did was I took a garden green card base and then I cut two panels, five and a quarter by four, and then ran them through my machine with that diagonal slant die. To get this effect with the crisscross, take the one you're going to put on first and flip it upside down and glue it upside down and then you'll glue your top one on regular and that's how you get this lovely diagonal crisscross pattern and I just think that's gorgeous. This one I popped up on dimensionals to give it a little more height and kind of accentuate the crisscross there. Added my banner and I tried out our little pearlized effects here so if you notice that my berries aren't quite um, perfectly symmetrical it's because I was fooling around with those pearlized effects that I've never played with before so a little bit of a learning curve and I'm probably going to do a video on them separately but um, lots of fun and they gave my little holly berries a little something different. I'll have to remember that and the slant die cut. I'm sure I'll call it a whole bunch of things. Now if you want to mix it up with different colors, you can cut your panels in different colors. Here I used a white card base with one panel of red and one panel of garden green. Again, I shortened that tag. I don't know if you can see, I kind of hit it back here, but I used our new decorative circle punch and added some of that candy cane DSP. And then of course the gold sequins. So lots of fun. Now we're, I've got one more Christmas card and then we're going to transition into stuff that is not Christmas because you can actually use this suite for non-Christmas things. So here is an, one last look at the slant die. Just one layer, not crisscrossed. And I decided I really wanted to play with our Christmas Scotty stamp set and punch. So here I added a banner and then I just used my punch to cut out a couple different Scotty dogs and added of course the Christmas colored bows and I just thought this was a fun little creative way to use that background but use a different set with it. So you do not have to use this slanted die cut with the candy canes. You can use it for anything and I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to be using it a lot. You can't buy it separate. It is part of that candy cane set but you don't have to buy the stamp set if you don't want. You could just get the dies and then you have the label at least and the slant to work with. And a couple of leaves too. All right, so like I said, we were stepping out of Christmas, and I promised that I would show you the other half of that sweet sorbet slanted die. And so here it is. I had to play with the hippos. These are one of our celebration items the hippo stamp set, as well as the 
coordinating dies are each separate celebration items. Remember this month we and next month, um, so now through the end of August, we have our celebration going on where you get a free item from this booklet for every fifty or hundred dollars that you spend and there's no limit. So if you get a three hundred dollar order together, either yourself well, if you do it yourself, then you get six items, um, six $50 items to play with, or you can mix and match the um, 50 and $100 items. So with $50, you can get the Hippo stamps, and another $50, you can buy these dies. I have to tell you, the samples that I am seeing coming out of these little Hippos are fantastic. I can't wait to play more. Because this little splash tub here and the boat, um, they're phenomenal. I can't wait to play. And I've even seen people take these little bits, like the scuba mask and the glasses, and they're using them on other things, like the penguins from last year, which carried forward again to this holiday season. They're putting the little, um, like, snow goggles on them, and they're so cute. So pro you'll probably be seeing some more samples with this hippo, too. But I just had to show you. And this is one of the papers from the candy cane die set but you'd never know it. It's sweet sorbet, and this side of the paper does not look like a candy cane at all. So I thought, you know, we gotta play with that. And then I added the other half of that slant die cut to it. And then I just stamped the memento ink and colored her little tutu, her little ballerina leotard with my Stampin' Blends. And of course, added some of the matching ribbon. So lots of fun. And then I really, I had some ideas with this slanted piece. I thought, you know, there's got to be more than Christmas we can do stuff with. And so I did. I also used our new Rugged Icons dies. So here is a very simple masculine card. It's crumb cake card base with an early espresso slant die cut glued on top. And then I took one of the stylus shapes and cut that out and I added the pieces from our Rugged Icons dies. And they're mostly manly. There's a, a fun beard um, icon, there's a fishing pole, there's a drill, and there's this mountain set. I don't know if there's anything else in there or not, but um, I just loved how quickly and easily this came together. Very manly. I've got a friend in mind that this is probably gonna be his birthday card in a month or so. Not a lot of work. Gluing can be a little fussy. I do recommend liquid glue for these on all the large strips and as much of the side as you can manage. Just remember, go easy with your glue. Your silicone mat will be your best friend and you don't want a lot of glue seepage here, but just at least tacking down those larger strips will really, really help you. And then if you wanna get fancy and kinda kick it up a notch instead of one panel, here's one with two. So here I used my crumb cake. Bernice, you're all about that Zyron, aren't you? <laughs> um, that's a good idea too. So, and then if you use that, your, um, all your strips would be sticky back too, wouldn't they? So here I used crumb cake for my base. I put the bottom layer on, flipped upside down, early espresso, and then I went back to the crumb cake for the top. So this, I think, is a really cool effect. You could just put a banner on here and boom, you've got a card. So, and then here again, I went with a slightly larger stitch circle on top um, with those that mountain die as well. And I added a small banner from the Stylish Shapes die set. Um, this sentiment is from a retired set, but I was looking for something specific. So I thought that would be just a real simple enjoy your retirement card. So like I said, not just for Christmas. And then I had an idea floating around in my head that I thought, wouldn't this be fun with bright summer colors? And so I actually just threw this together this evening. Um, I, I picked the colors out in my head and I've been dying to play with this bathing suit bundle. Um, it's just cute and fun. I did have to fussy cut the bathing suits, but um, it really, it's not a lot to, to do that because it's nice, um, just a nice shape to cut out. Not a lot of, you know, curvy bits and then added some retired sequins that we have, and I just thought this was a really fun card for summer. So lots and lots of options here for how to use that slanted die as well as some of the other pieces in the set. So I hope you had fun checking out the Swedish 
this Christmas. I definitely had fun putting these together and remember two of these projects are going to be given away um, on the next Friday night video. Speaking of which, we are not going to have a live video next week. I'm actually headed um, off grid for a little bit for some vacation time with my family. However, I'm going to try, if all goes well, to post a very quick video on Monday evening. It's probably not going to be live, but I will post a video here, maybe a short little five minute something or other. And then instead of going live on Friday, what I'm going to do is share pictures Friday evening of some projects that you have not seen featuring our Splendid Day Suite that is in our new holiday catalog as well. And so I hope you enjoy taking a look at those. And then since I'm going to be away next Friday, what we're going to do is I'm going to bump my um, we're going to have one more Christmas in July, except it'll be the first Friday in August. So um, stay tuned next week for some, some posts, just no live videos. And I know, Bernice, I can hear you grumbling now, but um, I couldn't quite pull off two videos before I left on vacation. And then we'll be back on schedule the following week with a Mystery Monday that I think is the 18th. I can't quite see my calendar from here, but a week from Monday, we'll be back with Mystery Monday, and then um, in two weeks from tonight, we will be back with another Christmas in July, and if I remember correctly, I think we're going to focus on that Ringed in Nature suite from the catalog with that beautiful wood grain, um, like tree rings, stamp set, and embossing folder, and beautiful, beautiful paper from the Celebration catalog. So I hope you will come back and join me um, in two weeks for that video, and then stay tuned to the page for some different announcements next week. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate all your well wishes. Um, I will be available for if you have any questions or comments about anything while I'm gone, please feel free to message me. I might not answer you right away, but I will get back to you as my time allows. So, Okay, I'm going to stop rambling and let you go, but thank you so very much for tuning in tonight. I really, really appreciate you guys taking time out of your busy schedules to tune in with me, and uh, I hope you enjoyed all the cards. All right, everybody, take care. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you again soon. Happy crafting!